Hello there, I'm Sage Perry and today I'm venturing into the back roads of Stevens Canyon to show you the skills you need to survive. In order to simulate a real survival experience, I'll be dropped into an undisclosed location where I'll have to face the frigid fall of San Francisco area with temperatures as low as 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, I've received the signal. Let's do this. One, two, three. We're really in the thick of it now. I have a camera crew with me, but they're not allowed to interact with me whatsoever unless it's a matter of life and death. Every year, thousands of hikers enter this wilderness, and every year, thousands return alive. Okay, it's time to get this started. Now my first priority is going to be finding water, because if I find water, not only will I find some food, but I'll also find a good place to build my shelter for the night. I think I found some. Now I did some scavenging and found this water receptacle lying around, so I'm going to use that to get some fresh water. Now that I've got some nice, clean, cold, fresh water, I need to build a shelter because it's starting to get dark. It's been about five minutes since I've been out here and it's around time that I should be turning in for the night. So I wanna build my shelter a fair distance away from the water so that wild animals don't come to, to drink and eat me in my sleep. Actually, this tree right here looks just about perfect to build my shelter. So I found this stick, which is perfect to lay between these two trees, and then I just spent a few minutes weaving this nice blanket out of all these bed leaves, and uh, I think this is going to make a pretty nice, cozy shelter. Okay. And that is going to be really nice and warm. Let's give this a shot. in here this is incredible now it's been about two hours since I had breakfast at Waffle House with my crew so that hunger is really starting to wear on me and it is so important in the wild that you maintain your strength so what I'm going to do is actually uh, look under these bed leaves for some grubs because they might not exactly be delicious but they're full of protein which is energy that I really need to get going okay I'm just going to dig under these leaves oh. Now that is a nice, big, juicy one. This is going to be great to cook over the fire and, and have a nice roasted treat for lunch. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, now it's time to build a fire. And unfortunately, sometimes when you're stuck in the middle of nowhere, you have to improvise on a way to build a fire. So let's try this. Uh, ah, that, that'll do nicely. I'm just gonna build up some tinder here. And presto. Oh, look at that. Wow, now that is quite a fire we got going there. All right, that is going to keep me nice and warm tonight. So now it's time to gut my grub. Now, this is a very delicate maneuver because we want to keep a lot of the meat on there, but I don't want to be eating any of the very, very disgusting entrails of this creature. So let's go ahead and peel back this skin here, okay? Oh, oh, that is disgusting. Just need to cut off the head of this creature and uh... <coughs> Okay, now I'm just gonna pull out the guts. Now look at that, so nice and toasty golden brown. Alright, time to dig in, this is gonna be quite a feast. Just what I needed to get me through tonight. All right, now that I've got a full stomach, uh, I think it's best, it's getting dark out here. It's been quite a long and trying day, so I think the best move here is to get some sleep and start out fresh tomorrow morning. In I go. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Okay, obviously I can't stay here. The wild animals must have smelled my dinner and now they're coming to attack me. So we need to get out of here fast. This is a matter of life and death. We blow out this fire. Okay, let's get out of here. Hey, stop. 
How can I help you? Can you take me back to civilization? Sure, get on in. Oh my god, you are saving my life. You have no idea. I just got attacked by a tiger. A real tiger. Okay, go, go, go. Quick, away from this place. And that, my friends, is how you survive in the wild. Hey, so, uh, you doing anything after this?